Hey, welcome back, guys. We're playing Victoria 2. Shout out to the one guy who has the Puss in Boots profile picture who has asked me to shout him out. What a cool fella. A recent comment on one of my videos where a guy said, you should play Crimea mod. So here we are. I have not really played this mod like at all, um, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. My favorite thing about this mod is in the readme, it says, very important. If you're from Reddit, Discord, or KMT, which I'm not sure what that is. I can only assume it's the Kuomintang government. You do not have human rights to play this mod. Delete it and F off. I'm not from Discord or Reddit or KMT. A commenter suggested I play this, so, you know, I feel very included. Any sort of mod that, uh, <laughs> that tells you that if you are a Redditor, you don't have human rights, um... I think that's really funny. So we're going to play this mod. In 1835, a Rio Grande do Sul, which is like a, a country composed of cowboys, broke away from Brazil and uh, tried to cement their independence. Obviously, they failed in the real world. But in this here video game, we are going to succeed as best we can. Everything in this game is different because of this this Crimea mod. I'm going in kind of blind here. Oh yeah, we can get this. Total war. Yes. Total war, please. So we will mobilize. Total mobilization. A cool thing about Rio Grande do Sul is that we have Brazilian and Plantanean. Not only do we have this all as accepted pops, but we also have this as accepted pops. Yeah, come and attack us over a river. Ooh. Oh, and, and another uh, weird historical fact, because I did some sort of cursory research into this uh conflict oh my god they're gonna own that guy uh, i did some cursory research in giuseppe garibaldi like the italian revolutionary figure was involved in this conflict i didn't even know he came down here i didn't know giuseppe garibaldi ever left europe oh my god look at this guy joao de Surf. listen guys i love the portuguese i love Brazil, Brazil. I'm not gonna be pronouncing these names correctly. We just need to accept that and move on. I mean, you know it's a bad day for Brazil when Paraguay's on top. I mean, Paraguay's a nation that like, uh, <laughs> like got owned, like <laughs> it just got destroyed in history. One of the U.S. presidents like saved Paraguay. Rutherford B. Hayes, he intervened in a, in a war that all these South Americans were fighting with Paraguay and basically saved Paraguay from uh, not existing which I think is uh, hilarious because you ask any American, you know, what they know about Rutherford B. Hayes and it's like uh, nothing. So after screwing over our Paraguayan allies, we finally were able to get a pretty good peace deal out of this war. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Seeing our rather glorious victory, Uruguay has propositioned for our countries to unite into a confederation rather than two buffer states manipulated according to the whims of foreigners. Let's do it. Bam. Yeah, look at this. So we can unite Rio de Plata. Oh, this is interesting. So certain things that we do will attract immigrants more than others. Yeah, so if we do universal, we'll get way, way more immigrants, hopefully, right? Oh, we got Tuscan, Austrian. Oh my God, look, we're getting immigrants. Foreign cuisine, pasta or pizza. I'm a pasta man. Look at all the immigrants we're getting. We're getting more immigrants in the US. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Jet law. Oh, there's so many things to do. This mod's incredible. I'm really... I'm enjoying this mod. It adds a lot of depth to the game. Look at that orange is getting immigrants. That's insane. Wait, from Haiti. <laughs> the Haitians. Wait, hold on. Yeah, the Haitians are like. <laughs> That's funny. That's incredible. Fighting Brazil early, as early and as often as possible seemed to be the best strategy. So even though they were allied to Argentina, which is probably one of the stronger nations in South America, I decided to go ahead and declare war on Brazil. After fighting a long and drawn out two front war for five years, Spain was finally able to intervene on Brazil's side and force us to white peace out of the conflict. Yeah, fine, status quo. That's just awful, that's evil. Oh man, Temperance League? Things are looking up. We're running out of uh, avenues for expansion because the great powers are sphering them all. 
although I would like to confine myself to South America, I don't think we're going to become a great power unless we actually start expanding uh, in other places on other continents. We can always, like, attack Liberia. Right, that sounds like a fun thing, right? Establish a beachhead over here. Oh, yeah, we, we've got this. And there we go. That's how you conquer a, a country. <laughs> like the great powers list. This is fucked up, man. Why is two Sicilies above the United States? I mean, say what you will about our country. But we're going to get like half a million people by doing this. Watch. Bam. I almost feel bad for what we did to Brazil. Almost. I, I don't feel bad at all. I just wish that we could finish the job. The Bolivian liberation of Jujuy. Both calling us in. Oh, well, the Americans joined... Uh, joined Argentina's side, so... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Bolivia. <laughs> I'll just take Santa Cruz. Bam! <gasps> oh, we're a great power. Okay, alright. So, let's do two things. Argentina and Paraguay. Oh, the disillusion of Austria. Oh, whoa. Wow. This is quite the interesting Europe. We got Bennett. I like how this mod kind of handles spheres. It feels like you have to be a lot more strategic with who you sphere and why you sphere them in this mod, which I like. So there's two Aboriginals, one Native American miner and one British person living in the Falkland Islands. Confederate liberation of Georgia? Did they, did they lose? What, yeah, 100 years of freedom. It's really going well over here, isn't it? Oh my God. What the hell is going on here? All right, so we can colonize now. Let's just go crazy. We're gonna get a little colony in Africa. Oh my God, they're, they're everywhere, the French. Just call Peru into this, just for fun. Well, whatever. Bye bye, Bolivia. We're just, I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. This is nice, this is a fine, fine map. There's an international crisis. Let's get in here. Let's see which way the people go. Let's just support this side. It's very one-sided, this, but... Yeah. <laughs> Add to sphere. And we can click the button. We must unite the nations to rule the new world. <laughs> oh my god, this is gorgeous. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. But we are not making <laughs> any... <laughs> We're not making any money anymore. And I can't really figure out why. Which is just great. Oh, it's our party. Yeah, wait, we don't have tariffs any- Whoa, 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 whoa. It's our, uh, yeah, 100 plurality. We are killing it. So we, we formed our map, and now we are in a kind of a crisis, really. Because the people running our country suck. <laughs> we're, we're getting to the point here where I'm almost like, just letting the anarcho-liberals. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care anymore. Oh, change national value. So our national value is liberty. Let's see. Prosperity? Freedom? Is there a difference between liberty and freedom? Evidently, yes. So we're going from liberty to freedom. And we can let women vote. All right, here we go. So we want to get Minas Giras. No one will join. Oh, my God. Just destroyed. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> we created a, a great corridor here in Africa. Bam. That's that's great. Oh. Mycenaean excavations. Oh, that's awesome. The Minoans? Oh, how cute. All right, give us this province. The Netherlands will join, but nobody else. Well, we know who our real friends are then. Oh yeah, that's that's the way it should look. That's nice. Oh, whoa! Did you see that? The Conservative Party got hit by a scandal, and then immediately the ideology's all all flipped. Oh, there we go. Anarcho-liberals in charge. Everything's about to get way worse. Ah, uh, and then it'll get way better. Why did why 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 is a third of this province Czech? They're all craftsmen. Okay, Persian seek war of honor, huh? Wow, look at Russia go. Oh my god, I did not see this happen. 
Why did the game tell me this happened? India is just gone. We could attack Chile again. Or we could attack one of these guys. Let's uh, let's send the boys over. Let's invade Bengal. <laughs> we, can, we can call it all our buddies in, uh, in Latin America. All right, so then we get Bengal. Oh my God, look at our income. Holy. <laughs> oh guys, oh man. Well, the colonial, the, the Patagonian colonial empire grows, man. Oh, <laughs> we have, we have achieved the welfare state. Give me Bihar, Risa. You cannot stop us. And he's willing to peace out for it. All right, so I originally meant to do this uh, established protectorate, but for some reason it instead did acquire this one random ass province, which was not my intention. I'm gonna cheat. Yes. Yes, I, I am cheating, but it's not my fault. Bam. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I never seen this happen. Oh, what is going on? Oh, we have slavery. <laughs> Dude, what is this? <laughs> oh man. What is this? Oh, what is, oh my. So this mod is crazy. So we, we've we had the, the bourgeois takeover. We're, we're now like a banana republic. We can re-enslave people. I mean, I don't want to do that. <laughs> The cult of the capital. This was such a, a left turn in this game that I wasn't expecting. That I ended up playing for like five years, um, trying to become a republic again, but that literally just wasn't viable. But yeah, this mod is crazy. I ended up loading an old save once I'd kind of figured out how to play as this nation. Uh, so yeah. We are a banana republic and we have to like do this decision in order to survive. Because otherwise there's just no shot that we'll be able to live. So evidently, we, we're just role-playing a banana republic now. Yes. So we, we get rid of slavery. All right, so we got rid of slavery again. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful borders. And now we can do the, the cult of capital makes everyone a lot more docile. Everyone like us and everyone very docile. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it here. The world looks disgusting. Uh, Africa's weird. Europe is actually not that bad. Uh, Japan actually did stop this game. Wait, look at all this Plantinian, evidently. And also our African land is beginning to flip to flip to Plantinian. But obviously most of our population now is in India. <laughs> our accepted pops, it looks like, is about 20% of our country. Oh, well, uh, apparently it's 40% Bengali and poor veneer. The fact that there's 10% Native Americans in Limerick is uh, a little absurd. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what countries or games or mods you'd like for me to play next. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.